So hello everyone again. Uh, let's uh, uh, before I start explaining more things about uh, SQL, I would like to show you uh, what I promised you about uh, how to uh, use uh, R and SQL. Uh, the same. Uh, what I will show you is just a quick uh, demo. Uh, you have the the code that I will use is in the share path. And you can have a look at it uh, uh, later. I'll is uh, here. Uh, if I go to the share path, is here. This is the code that I will uh, use. But yeah, this is just to show you a quick demo that uh, how uh, it works uh, if I use. Uh, R Studio uh, with R Studio or well, with R, I can use a uh, uh, SQL uh, database. So just to show you how it works, uh, what I need to do is uh, I download the the, the database is uh, here in, on internet the internet. And I download it to a data row. Um, it, this is the name of the the database. I mean, we can receive the database. This is what I told you that SQLite is only one is a, only one file. So you can get the uh, you can get the file, uh, the mail, or you download the file and you can start uh, using it. So uh, we download the database. Um, also, we load these uh, libraries. Uh, Diplar, that is the one that we used yesterday. Um, DV, blah, that is uh, it's like a bunch of uh, characters. And then uh, what I will do is I, I will connect now uh, the database. So I, I use uh, DV connect. I need to specify uh, the what I used at this SQLite, and I need to specify the file that I use. So if I execute that, now I'm connected to that database that I call it uh, mammals. So if I use uh, this uh, function, I see that uh, the version of SQLite that is uh, 3355, where the database is, and the tables that I have, plots, species, and surveys, and where, yeah, this is the source. And uh, now you are more familiar with the SQL syntax, so you can execute uh, SQL syntax uh, queries in R. So you use uh, TBL. The first argument is the connection that I have already done, and the second argument is uh, an SQL uh, command. That is a selected years, species ID, plot ID from surveys. If you execute that, you get a, uh, you get a, this uh, output. It tells you that the source is uh, SQL, the database, and the. Uh, also, if uh, you want to uh, use uh, what we used yesterday want to use a, a data frame and work with that, uh, you can do that. You can do a TBL, the connection, that is uh, mammals, uh, the table surveys, and the output uh, saving surveys. So if you do that, uh, you can now in surveys, you have the data frame. So you can do the what we did uh, yesterday. Uh, you remember that uh, we use uh, the function select, uh, we include here the column names, year, species ID, and plot ID. So if I execute that, I get uh, I get this uh, output. So this is just to show you that uh, we can uh, use R uh, to uh, do uh, queries uh, for uh, MySQL. And uh, okay, let's uh, start. Let's uh, keep uh, doing the um, uh, learning a little bit more about uh, SQL. I will uh, now share my screen. 
well, I mean, Rama like the uh, does it. Okay, before starting, uh, was a question that uh, in in SQL also you can con concatenate uh, um, uh, columns. So for example, if I want the observation date, if I want to get a, a column that has the year, month, and day, uh, I can use uh, this uh, double vertical bar uh, to concatenate concatenate year with a dash, month, dash, day, and I can get this uh, column with the date. Okay, so let's um, uh, keep uh, learning a little bit more about, uh, uh, now we will see uh, some functions that are available that, for example, one of them is uh, count, in case that we want to know the how many rows uh, uh, that we have, is uh, is a select count, and uh, I use the star from surveys. If I execute that, the output is the number of uh, rows that I have in my table, that in this case is more than 35,000. Uh, also use uh, other functions, that is, uh, for instance, I can use, uh... oh, sorry, I know, I'm not uh, shading the right application, apologies. Okay. I was okay. Yeah, it's weird because in my my screen was different. Okay, that's why I, I didn't hear any anyone complaining about uh, fine. Okay, now I see the problem was in my, my, my screen show uh, the previous uh, application rather than the current one. Fine, good. Uh, so yes, I have a select count from survey, so, so I can do a select uh... Okay, I think uh, now I have the same uh, issue that uh, I cannot uh, type anymore. Uh... Don't know what's happening with it. Well, that's a matter. I will uh, close the. Okay, one moment. That I... Yeah, it seems that there is an issue with the Ubuntu on this. Uh... Okay, I can type now. We we'll share. So I was saying select count. I can do select the, I can sum of the eight. from surveys.
So I have all of these uh, choices. I have a count, I have a sum. Also I have a, I can do a maximum, minimum, average. So I have all of these uh, uh, functions uh, available. Uh, that could be, for example, the could not make sense maybe for the whole table, but the interesting part that I can I can do is uh, for uh, okay I know the number of uh, rows of uh, my table, but uh, how many uh, how many individuals were counted in each uh, species? So I can using a query I can get the the answer. So I can type uh, select the species ID, the count from uh, surveys, uh, group, that's important, group by species ID. So if I execute that, oops, oh, well, it complains because uh, the syntax is not uh, okay, because uh, here I have a comma. Um, that comma shouldn't be there. Done. So here I have the count for each species ID. I have, uh, for example, NUR1s are uh, 763. And I have the count of each uh, one. Also, I can get, I imagine, the average weight for each uh, species ID. I can do a lot of uh, things. And also if I want, I can order by this. Uh, I can do order by. Or I can use uh, as count uh, as uh, mm, count. Well, let, no, we, let's use uh, uh, number, for instance, order by number. Well, I can use a desk. And I get uh, from maximum to minimum all of these uh, species sort by uh, the count. But for instance, I can also do because uh, we have uh, these species that are only one, is only one count or two counts. Um, maybe I'm not interested in my, because for my research, we don't have enough uh, now, uh, enough. Uh, uh, count to uh, do a useful uh, research. So uh, what I can do is uh, I can use, I can filter uh, using, but uh, when we filter um, uh, the rows of a table, I use uh, the, the keyword uh, where, but uh, when I filter, uh, when I filter when group um, counts that are done by group by, I need uh, the keyword having. And also you notice that, that has, this is uh, like a after uh, group by. So having, I can say that uh, number is uh, greater than 10. So if I execute that, Ah, well, it complains because uh, having should, should be uh, uh, before, uh, should be before, sorry, be, uh, yes, uh, just after group by. So if I execute that, We see that uh, now we don't get the the count where the uh, are less are one, two, or three. So having is uh, when we filter uh, something that is like a done by group by. So that's why it needs needs to be just after a group by. 
and then I can order via the number desk. So uh, now what uh, we can do, because, it... oh, sorry, I didn't forgot to explain the last thing that is a view, because we can we can have a views of the imagine that uh, we want we have we want a subset of data because uh, we will uh, let's say our research study will be about uh, summer uh, 2000 and um, i want to get that uh, subset and um, perform some queries only in that uh, subset i don't care about uh, the rest so we i can save that as a view also, these views uh, can be used uh, in case that uh, you want to, but well, this is not covered um, here in this lesson. When you have a, when the database is uh, bigger and you you want to uh, uh, allow the, some people only to get access to a part of the table, not the whole uh, table. So in that case, uh, you create a view and um, some users can only see the content of that view. But this is when, this is this is not for SQLite, this is for other databases where you can have a different users with different permissions, etc. So uh, here, I what we cover for the views is just to uh, get a subset of data in order to do queries um, faster. I mean, you don't need to rewrite again the, the query. So imagine that we have, uh, okay, so uh, summer 2000, I need to select uh, everything from surveys where uh, year is uh, 2000, oops, and uh, month is uh, greater than four, and month is uh, uh, smaller than 10. Well, here, rather than summer, well, I get like uh, from uh, May, May, June, July, um, August, September, well, I get that uh, period of time. So, well, we call it the summer, but yeah, it's like a way to. So if uh, we execute that, I get a year 2000 and I get from uh, uh, the, the days, uh, yeah, where well, the month is uh, five, uh, well, five, May, uh, June, July. So I get this uh, data set. That is a data set. Did I execute? I don't know why it's not updated. So I get this uh, output. How, ca how can I save uh, this? So, okay, it's uh, failing again. Uh, so, maybe if I open a new. Ah, okay, I can, I, okay, now I found how I can, if you open a new tab, you can write again, okay. fine. So it's, uh, I can create a view, and to create a view is a create a view, uh, summer 2000, uh, as, Select everything for service where year blah, blah, blah. If I execute that, mm, yes. Oh, okay, yes. Since that, uh, yeah, that this uh, like a, uh, yeah, this is like a gong. This uh, tab. So yeah, let's use a different tab. And now, if uh, we go to database structure, we see that we have a uh, three tables. And we have a view that is a uh, summer two thousand. And, the, and also we can, uh, this is like a new uh, table that we have. So I can do uh, s select 
everything from summer 2000. If I execute that, I get the I get the view. I get the and I can do uh, queries. Uh, select uh, everything from summer where okay so stop again i don't know what is happening so i i can i can use the view as a table i can do whatever uh, i want okay so let's uh, i will stop this and i will share the some uh, exercises that we have There is a question that is uh, updating summer 2000, change the source and vice versa. Uh, okay, if uh, I know if, if uh, because the, the view is uh, from surveys, if a uh, survey uh, is uh, update, the view will be updated as well. Because the view is like a kind of a subset of, uh, but uh, the other way around i'm not sure if uh, you have a permissions to uh, to modify from from a view that's a that's an interesting question i can have a look uh, at it uh, now i know if uh, something is a uh, change in surveys you will see the change in uh, survey in summer 2000 in the view but uh, what I don't know if I, if using the view you can modify data. That's the what I don't I don't know. Uh, okay, let me share. Mm, I think it's this one. So we have finished the episode three, the aggregating and grouping data. If uh, you can play a little bit around with this uh, exercise, there are six. Um, we can, I give you uh, five minutes and we can continue with the rest of the lesson. Now the what is left is uh, combining data with the uh, with joins that uh, we have uh, two tables and we can merge these tables in case that uh, we want to uh, select uh, data from uh, different tables okay shall I, shall I continue with the and uh, solve the exercises or do you want more time to uh, keep uh, solving the solving the, uh, them Fine. I'll uh, pass, sorry. Continue with the with the lesson or uh, like uh, working with the exercises alone. Ah, oh, fine. Uh, okay. So let's solve them. Uh, yes, because also that, that uh, we have like a a small part of the lesson left, and then later you can uh, work with the with more uh, exercises if you. So uh, these are the, okay, let's uh, sort of them. Uh, I will share my, the other screen. Uh, okay, I need to stop sharing this one. Okay. Oh, well, doesn't work either. Um, I'm not sure if I can close them. Ah, okay, I think it's uh, because uh, it's uh, like a uh, yeah, something weird with the SQL execution that keeps running and is, uh, I think that is here like a next to stop the currently running SQL script. I think 
clicking in that solves the, the issue. Anyway, uh, okay, let me see the, there's a write a query that returns the, well, I can co copy and paste here, maybe it's easier. Write a query that returns the total weight, average, minimum, and maximum for all animals. Fine, so I do select, set total, so it's the sum of the weight, the set average, that is a, AVG, uh, weight, the minimum, and the maximum. from surveys. So if I execute that, I get uh, yeah, the average, uh, minimum, maximum, sum. I'm not sure if that would make sense, but what well, that uh, exercise. Also the set modify the exercise uh, that uh, do that only for weights that are from between five of 10. So I need to filter using where, where weight, is larger than five, larger equal than five, and weight is smaller because they said between five and ten, uh, smaller than ten. Oops, can use a smaller and equal. Let's see if that works. And now, yes, we got uh, the minimum is uh, five, the maximum is ten. Average eight on the 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 sum is uh, this. Uh, uh, okay, next exercise. How many individuals were counted in each year in total? So uh, this is what uh, I've done something similar. Uh, is uh, select. Uh, individuals each year, so it's a uh, year on the count. Oops, from surveys, maybe it's a little bit, maybe. From surveys uh, group by a uh, year. I think should be that. Yes. So we have uh, for each year, I have the count of, uh, of the. So maybe it's a. Could be an issue with the with the browser if uh, everyone else can can hear me. Yeah, it should be uh, maybe an issue with the browser or with the collaborator. Yes, <laughs> mine too. Uh, Let's uh, keep, uh, okay, so this is the, the exercise. Uh, uh, these are the how many were counted uh, each year on each uh, different species. So you can do year, speedy, and group by year, species ID. So, I mean, you can do the group by using uh, several uh, uh, columns. So if I do... Okay, I forgot the comma here. Why is getting the... Okay, now. So yeah, I think yeah, the solution is to stop the if the 
tab is uh, frozen, stop the, the execution. So I got for year the 77, I got uh, the species ID and the count for each uh, for 78, same. And also they want the average uh, ways of each species in each year. So I can do the count and average weight. Let's see if that works. Sorry, I saw an error or something we are going on. Yeah, so I got the, for each year and each species ID, I get the count and the average weight of these. Uh, Here I get uh, null values, but uh, yeah, it's possible to. Um, I think it's because maybe the the weights are missing, or we'll see that uh, we'll see more about that uh, later in the next. Uh, uh, okay, what is a uh, okay? The last exercise is a write a query that returns. Okay, it seems like a more complex. Okay, let's... Uh, from the species table, the number of species in each uh, taxa only for the... Okay, now we need to change the table um, because I don't remember the fields. Select everything from uh, a species. Let's see what the table contains. Okay, so we have a species ID, genus, species, and taxa. And these are for the, the number of species in each uh, taxa. Okay, only for the taxa with more than 10 species. So select taxa, count, oops, from a species, uh, this important group by uh, taxa. So if I execute that, then I get a bear, rabbit, a reptile, and rodent. We have a that uh, discount, but they said that the should be like uh, the count should be uh, larger than uh, more than ten species. So uh, what they can do is I can use. Uh, as uh, occurrences um, uh, after group by I need to uh, specify having occurrences uh, greater than 10 so I get uh, I only get bear on the rodent so that's the way of uh, filtering using group by. Okay, so uh, well, let's uh, keep, uh, because uh, we have seen uh, the next uh, thing that I would like to explain is uh, how to combine data from different uh, tables. Uh, we have seen that if I do a uh, select everything from a species, I'll remove this. I get that we have the species ID and also I have the genus uh, species. I have a uh, data that is not in surveys. That's, I mean, the, it's, a, it's good to have different tables because imagine that here you have a typo. So you can modify that, uh, you can modify that and you don't need to go to the, imagine that you have everything in the same table and you find a typo. It's like a much more difficult uh, to, uh, you need to modify several uh, rows rather than only only one. So uh, it's important to uh, have the data split into uh, several tables in, in order not to repeat uh, uh, data that is already and at the beginning of the lesson, we were talking about a relational uh, database. 
is because uh, uh, that is a common uh, column on each uh, in on species we have the column that is a species id and in uh, surveys we have a column that is a species id so that's the relation that exists between these uh, two uh, tables and uh, when we join these tables we will use uh, that uh, that uh, link so uh, how uh, can we uh, link these tables I will use uh, select everything from uh, from uh, species. Okay, I will, well, I will do the, the other way around, but uh, the species join uh, surveys. Oh, well, they, I mean, the document, but if I use uh, surveys from surveys, uh, join species or well, I can live in the same uh, and next I needed to specify uh, the link that are between these two uh, uh, tables so the link is on uh, I need the uh, here I need to specify the name of the table and the name of the column that is a species ID uh, is equal a uh, species dot species ID. So if I do that, you can see that we have uh, the old table surveys that is a record ID, month, day, year, plot ID, species ID, sex, in bullet, weight, and also I have uh, the um, the other table species ID uh, genus species and taxa for example okay because I'm selecting everything I have a duplicate uh, but uh, if I want to make this a little bit uh, can do year month day uh, imagine uh, uh, genus species and the uh, in the in the footland, for instance. So I can get uh, I'm getting for from the surveys table. I get the year, the month, the day, and the hint foot the length. And for the species table, I get the genus and species. Uh, I'm using uh, here. I don't specify the the table. But imagine that uh, it's uh, we ha we have the same uh, uh, the name of the column could be the same in both in both the uh, tables. So I will need to specify and say surveys dot year. So in that case, I always uh, I make sure that I get uh, the column year from the table surveys. Also, there is a way, uh, uh, the way that I have explained to uh, join uh, tables is uh, if uh, the, the column name is, uh, if the column name is uh, different. Imagine that, uh, well, imagine in this case that the column name is the same, what they can use rather than this, uh, let's say, complex query. I can use uh, using and uh, specify the common field that is a species ID. So if I execute that, it works like well, I can select uh, everything. See why is this available? Ah, okay, because, uh, okay, I understand now the question. It's, uh, it's showing that because uh, in, 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 
Yes, because in this case, uh, we have the name of the column is a species and the name of the table is a species as well. So uh, gives preference to the name of the... Yes, it's, it's an issue with the word issue. Uh, when with the parser uh, gives the uh, gives a preference on things that is at the table rather than the well yeah it's because the name is uh, the same and uh, okay this is to join uh, and now that we have the tables that are joined I can use uh, I can use uh, I can do a group by or I can do a... Uh, yes, uh, that, yeah, that would complicate uh, normally uh, if uh, for uh, uh, SQL contains uh, several uh, keywords like uh, select, uh, from, uh, using, uh, join, uh, it's a good or not to, uh, yes, if the column name is uh, one of these uh, keywords, it will not uh, work because uh, imagine that the, uh, we have a, um, let's see if that uh, works. No, they said they recognize that uh, using is uh, a keyword. And uh, yes, if uh, you have a column name that is uh, using, is uh, yeah, you get that uh, that error. So it's not uh, normally yes, uh, you you shouldn't use uh, keywords for columns or for names of the table. Yeah, that's a a good point. Uh, what? What else? Okay, now what, that we do the join, we can do. Uh, I mean, we can do. Uh, we can do group by. We can filter. We can do uh, whatever uh, we want. Also for the join, uh, let's do uh, select everything. Uh, you see that I can have a some. Uh, mm, I have a lesser uh, rows that the the the, the, sur the surveys uh, table uh, has. Can do I think I can do select count. I get uh, thirty-four thousand rather than thirty-five uh, uh, thousand. So uh, for so you can uh, because the join is a species ID should be here this uh, field uh, should be in both tables but if uh, in case that uh, that is a uh, imagine that in surveys we have a species id that is not contained in the species uh, table so in that case uh, you don't do the uh, the join so uh, you can uh, you can do a uh, select uh, surveys left join and in that case if I execute again you see that the count is uh, bigger because uh, let me show you the Ah, okay, I understand. Uh, the issue is because in a species ID, we have a null. So uh, when you do the join, uh, you get rid of the species ID that are null. But if uh, you don't want to do that, you can do a left join and uh, keeps the nulls in the, in the table. 
So this will be like in the same uh, line, let's say. So yeah, th thanks, uh, Kevin. Seems that uh, it's possible to use if uh, you use uh, a square bracket, but yeah, it's not <laughs> not the best. Uh, uh, okay, what else? Uh, that is. Uh, okay, this is uh, interesting to know in case that uh, there are two functions that are called uh, uh, qualescence and null if in case that uh, you want to uh, change the the null in the let me explain uh, we have a this example select species id uh, sex from uh, surveys. So we get a uh, male, female, and for some species ID, I get a uh, null. I get the null uh, value. If I want to avoid that, what I can do is I can use the function coalescence. And uh, I type the the column name sex, and what I want to uh, write. For example, in that case, I will use uh, you and that in mind. So if I execute that, you see that, for example, here in sex, in this uh, uh, row of this column is null, but uh, if I use that, I get you rather than a null value. Is a way to uh, to get rid of the the null if I, that I want to uh, generate a a table. And also, you can uh, the the other is uh, you can also generate a, a null in case that uh, you want to get rid of a given. Imagine that uh, well, the, the sample that is in the documentation is, uh, for example, for the plot ID, the number seven, you want to uh, show a null rather than the plot ID uh, seven. So we have a select species ID, a plot ID from, oops, from surveys, and I get plot ID two, three, two, seven, three, etc. Imagine that instead of uh, returning a seven, I want to return a null. In case that, uh, so you have the function null if uh, plot plot ID is uh, seven. Oops. So you see that now the new column that they have, if the content is a seven, you get a null value. So yeah, but just to know, to let you know that it does uh, exist. Also, you have uh, there are other other functions like uh, random, uh, replace, uh, substring, uh, round, uh, lower, length. So there are also a, a list of uh, functions that uh, you can uh, use. Uh, okay, so I think that's the what I would like to explain about uh, SQL. I'm not sure if you have uh, any other questions. Uh, that is a set of uh, exercises if uh, you want to play with uh, that. But yeah, that now, now is like at the, the end of uh, the the lesson. I will uh, share with you the, the exercises. Um, you can you can play with uh, with them.
or if uh, you want to have a to go and have a lunch so 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 the exercises are here in the shared path so uh, yes please free free to uh, either do them or if uh, like uh, enough for today uh, uh, you can go for lunch. I, I, I'll be around until uh, 1 p.m. So in case that uh, you have any questions or any comments, uh, please uh, uh, let me know. If not, uh, yes, just to say uh, thank you for attending these uh, four days. I hope that uh, you find the course uh, uh, useful. Um, also, the material will be always available on the recordings. So yes, you can uh, check that. Uh, later in the future in case that uh, you want to uh, play around uh, with the uh, SQL, R, or Open Refine. So, yes, thank you. And um, yes, I'll, I'll stay around until 1 p.m. in case that uh, you have uh, any questions. <laughs>